Are high housing prices in Canada pushing middle class out of the market? In today's video, we discuss a new report released by the Parliamentary Budget Officer and if it is in fact true. But first, let's roll the intro. Hey everyone, Josh here and home ownership has become even less affordable through the pandemic for the average buyer. With housing prices in Canada at record highs, there are many buyers finding it extremely tough to get into the market unless prices drop. Based on personal experience and the experiences of my buying clients, there is not an offer I've made since last year where we weren't involved in a bidding war. Housing prices were already rising at record highs prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. However, in the last two years, they have surged even more due to extremely low interest rates, demand for more space, and a lack of supply that just isn't keeping up. In a new report released by the Parliamentary Budget Officer Yves Giroux, looking at the past year, it is estimated that house prices in Toronto, Hamilton, and Ottawa were more than 50% above an affordable level by the end of 2021, and unaffordable by a smaller margin in Vancouver and Montreal. What is particularly interesting is that the report noted that debt loads in Toronto, Vancouver, Victoria, and Hamilton were high enough that households could be considered financially vulnerable. This meaning that any income loss would make these homeowners less likely to keep up with mortgage payments. Given the average income earner and considering their average salary, as if it's not already hard enough, it will become even harder to afford a home in the future unless prices drop or wages climb. For those who recently bought homes and who have variable rate mortgages, they may be more vulnerable to rising interest rates and could find themselves unable to cope with a sudden shock like a job loss. The rates on fixed mortgages have crept higher on expectations that the Bank of Canada will start hiking its trend-setting rates next month. When that happens, variable rate mortgages will start to climb as the central bank looks to cool overheated markets. These rising rates will likely offset any increases in household income for the average income earner, which will limit their ability to borrow and therefore afford a home. In Giroux's report, it also said that at the end of last year, the average house price nationally was $811,700. This was an increase of 43% from the $565,800 recorded in December 2019, a few months before the pandemic had begun in the country. Interestingly enough, the average housing price nationally in December 2021 was also almost double the average price of $413,000 in January 2015. So how can this issue be resolved, you might be asking? Well, one scenario is that home prices would have to drop to make home ownership more affordable to the average buyer, which is unfortunately not a likely scenario to happen. Another scenario is boost in supply, which was noted to not have kept up with the population boom between 2015 and 2019. If we are able to increase supply through more new builds or a surge in home sellers, we may be able to slightly slow down the high housing prices, pushing the middle class out of the market. Thanks for watching the video today. Let me know in the comments if you are being affected by the rapidly growing home prices across Canada and what you think about the current situation. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications, and I'll catch you next time.